segregation. Students and teachers were not immune to the harsh realities of segregation. The all-black school was a testament to how Jim Crow laws infiltrated all aspects of black people living in the South. As I recall, uh, there was a lot of interaction between the African-American community and the white community. Uh, at my age, uh, all of us used to get together and, and play football, uh, play baseball, and uh, then we went back to our part of town and they went back to their part of town and that's kind of the way it was. And it never dawned on us to question that. Uh, that's just the way it was. Certainly can remember the, uh, uh, the white and the colored water fountains at the courthouse. And I can remember the, uh, uh, the colored balcony in the Virginia Theater. We had three theaters there. We had Virginia, the State, and the Strand. And then all three of them we set up stairs. The, the blacks would set up stairs, but, but they soon stop that. Our friends and I'll start running upstairs. The white kids would come upstairs and they'd be on one side, we'd be on the other side. Cause they know the usher's coming up, you know. And as soon as the usher leaves, we're right there together. Schools were segregated until my senior year in high school. 